child. <laughs> I couldn't hold it. I got to come back. This is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. Take that love vitamin. The shit is going on. I don't know what's going on. Y'all do. I ain't been around. Y'all have. Overseas in America. Somebody has getting dusted. Whew. I cannot tell you how much somebody cusses somebody out bad in their damn head. I heard that like, I hate this motherfucker. I wish your motherfucking ass would die. I heard die, bitch. Die. Damn, look. Don't get mad at me. Shit. That's what they're saying. Not me. I don't know he to hate you. I don't hate nobody anyway. Somebody hates somebody's ass and want the ass to die. D-I-E. Hold on. Let me get this other little, this other little bit. Child. Let's do a little collective reading real quick. Let's just see what come out. <laughs> Shit going on here, honey. Somebody has to be ghosted. I'm telling you. This person right here, they had a plan, honey. And they was slick. Now, either you the one they was slick with or the one they could be coming to. I don't know. Let's see. Take that damn love vitamin, honey. Because, God. All right. What's going on here? Damn. Yep. It is all right to be alone. This is someone here who could have had a hard time saying, you know what? <laughs> I don't want to be alone, but you know what? I'm tired of being miserable. This, I hear this person saying, I'm miserable. I'm fucking miserable. Somebody is miserable and they, they could not discover who they were. I also feel like somebody feels like someone has kept them, you know, from like discovering their purpose, um, being who they are as a as a person. I mean, I heard, I heard a woman. Somebody here just feels held back. And the thing of the matter is now they're determined to become the dragon. They have discovered their own individuality or that's what they want to do. Yep. Um, Brother Raccoon, honey, a safe, a safe place for you to go. This person is trying to find a safe place to go. Somebody is discreetly looking for a place to live while they're already living somewhere else. Yep. You are like anyone else. Your contradictions and complexes are interesting. So this is what this person is doing. They constantly contradict themselves. Hold on, y'all. I got to sneeze. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Thank you. This person contradicts themselves or either they feel like you do. Somebody feels like somebody contradict, contradicted themselves. And they're doing, I feel like somebody is doing this intentionally. This person is trying not for someone to pick up on their trail. Now, the unexpected. Ooh. A change you did not see coming. I'm telling you, this is going to happen all of a sudden. Somebody leaving somebody. This is this. I really feel like this is for somebody who lives in the same household, whether it be a marriage or just you know two people living together. What else is going on here? Somebody is just really tired of somebody. Somebody here could also be like spazzing out. It could be a lot of fights, a lot of arguments. It could be like you know just a lot of. I heard Nick picking somebody like I'm so sick of this bitch. I always got something to say. Damn. I hear one. I'm talking about y'all. I could see this person. Somebody can draw really well. It's almost like I ain't trying to be funny. I forgot the name of that movie, but this guy, that guy, he was already planning his escape in this prison. He knew he was going back to prison. This person feels like they live in a damn prison with somebody, either you or somebody else. This person right here has been planning stuff. What's that thing? An architect? This person right here been drawing the hell out of stuff. It's almost like they know. Somebody here is intentionally leaving something valuable at home. They don't give a damn. They want to be out. It's other things they're taking. I hear sentimental values, things that have sentimental value. They know that you wouldn't let them take. Somebody here is spiteful. It's like the say a picture of, you know, someone's great, um, you know, an ancestor. We won't put a, a gender on it. Someone's ancestor, a spirit guy, they have a picture of it in there in, you know, in the house. They are discreetly moving the picture around because after a while it's going to disappear. The reason why, because this person is getting things that mean something to them. You know, like watches, I heard rings, all that shit. They don't give a damn about shoes. They this person plans on replacing or like um our inventory they're taking inventory so it's like when they leave you they already plan to stop back up they're taking things they can't replace valuable pictures sentimental values it could be of kids but i i see like grown people but these people are dead also a lot of ancestors are around this situation here 
This person is constantly contradicting themselves um, to keep you from figuring them out. Also, y'all, if this isn't them doing this to you, then um, this is someone that, you know, they feel like I keep hearing somebody say everything you said you was going to do, you're not going to do. You keep lying. You fucking lying. You don't clean up. You don't cook. You don't help. You don't do nothing. You don't even let me use your car. Somebody here is just tired of what promises was, was made and broken. It's how that. Somebody here feels like, you know, like if it. You know, if it's a woman, she feels like I'm tired of all the responsibility being on me, me carrying the household. A woman or a man, somebody here feels like all the weight is on them and they're just tired. They could have been afraid to leave because they didn't want to be alone or start over again. Someone here could have also felt like, you know, if I start over, you know, how are things going to turn out? What is it going to be? Where am I going to go? Who am I going to live with? And this could be someone also... Somebody was playing mind games with the other person to say, like, okay, where you going to go? Who going to take you in? <clears throat> How you going to pay your car payment? Hmm? How you going to pay that storage? Huh? Huh, Keisha? Hmm? I hear her huh, and Anne Marie. Huh, and How you going to do that? Huh? How you going to do that? How you going to pay your bills? Who going to help you? Something got in somebody's head. Whatever got in their head, it stayed there, so they felt insecure. Someone played, someone played on somebody else's insecurities, and it worked. Now this person is like, nah, fuck that. I'm going to have to start over. I'm going to have to figure this shit out where the hell I'm going because I'm tired of this person. You know, the fears only work for a certain amount of time. Now somebody here, I heard, is angry and hostile. All right, let's see what else going on here. Damn, that car flew all the way over. Yep. The death card. This shit is over, honey. <sighs> this is over. Somebody here has changed their mind. They've changed. They're tired of flip-flopping. It's over. They know it. This is somebody here. They could have been faking like they were sick. You know, I'm, I'm going to be honest. Somebody could have been faking like they were sick, needy, you know, feeble, only to get the best of someone else. Somebody fake that they didn't have, you know, like, I didn't know where I was going to go. I don't know what I was going to do. Somebody getting played. Somebody's having reverse psychology on them because why you think this person don't know where they, they going? She know where she going. Or he know where he going. I heard the name Tasha. But this is over. The death card. Right, what else? Man. What I told you. Here's this um high priestess. Mm, mm, mm. And the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is looked upon as a player. That's not all the Knight of Wands is. This person is on a journey. This person is has been secretly preparing for a place to go. Somebody already has some place to go. You just met. You you the one, you don't know that. Also, for some of you all here, the reason they're leaving you, they feel like you're a sorceress or a sorcerer. They feel like you've done things against them spiritually. You know, this is someone here who's leaving. They, they know they've had black magic, witchcraft, manipulation, and things done. This person right here can see more than what they let you know. Somebody here has played dumb, not to be dumb anymore. And see, this person right here, they know good what they're doing. They know not only what they're doing, but they know where they're going. I hear somebody say, I'm getting the fuck away from you. I'm telling you, somebody grits their teeth. They bite their lip. And somebody here is like when they're talking to a person, they have to pinch themselves to keep from spazzing out. Yep. I keep hearing you made me sick. You make me fucking sick. This this is this got to be one horrible ass relationship right here. What's this right here? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This person right here has been all over the place. The page of wands inverted. Something right here has had a lot of delays around it. To keep them from getting where they want to go. This person right here was psychic attack was used to keep somebody um stuck. To keep I heard neutral, to keep them in neutral. This person realized something. Now, if somebody's putting something in somebody's food, drink, or something like that, that shit is over. But this is somebody here they know better. That's why they won't eat from you. Because they know you were doing psychic attack. That's over. That's that's not going to have the same effect on them as it once did. This is someone here, they've been waiting. But while they were waiting, they were planning and preparing. What they were planning and preparing to do was a cut your ass off the queen of swords this person here is out they've made a 
great change. And this is someone here that's been hiding a plan strategically. I'm telling you, it's out. It's over. It's done. Somebody is helping this person. I just heard. Who's helping now? What's the three of wands? They've been, they've been preparing. This could be someone who's giving. This person going to put so much space in between you and them. It's going to be utterly ridiculous. This person going to leave you behind. And I hate to say it. Somebody might be left with some kids. Yep. And not only that, somebody going to be left with an ass of debt. Yep. Once they get out, I see something about a bill. They're not going to make good with that bill. This is someone here who's playing like they're dumb. But they're going to show you how stupid you are. That's an old school saying. Yep, this person right here was under. There was a lot of black magic, a lot of spells, a lot of witchcraft that was done that kept this person stuck, stagnant, and insecure. Also, it kept them at a place where they didn't feel good enough about themselves to be able to move on. The thing of the matter here, this person right here. What the hell was that? I really don't know what that sound was. Somebody had a lot of mind games played on them. They could have been trying to, somebody could have been going out of their mind at one point in time, and they're not. I hear charades. A lot of charades have been going on to keep somebody juggling, to keep, to keep someone confused. Or to keep someone feeling like, you know, I'm all you got. Someone here um, tried to make someone feel like, you know, I don't know, like they were nothing. They were not going to have enough. It's like somebody was in a very mental relationship with some, someone who knew how to play on their psyche. This was heavy magic. Now, somebody definitely here, I'm, I'm just going to say it now. Somebody here was having something put in there. It could be their food. It could be their <clears throat> their beverages. But it was something to make this person more vulnerable or susceptible to doing something that somebody else was doing. This person was being controlled and they found out. Whatever they found out and discovered, they kept it to themselves. But they, they could have stopped eating from the person, stopped drinking from the person. They could have stopped having sex with the person and started watching them. But while they were watching, they were planning, they were preparing their move. They got quiet. Started acting like they don't feel good. They could be faking like they were sick. <clears throat> you know, oh, I don't feel good. I hear no deer. I'm just tired. Um, somebody here was faking that they had laryngitis, something to keep them from being intimate or close because someone here, they found what someone was doing and that was a game changer. And they, they hid, it's like they hid themselves getting better mentally, emotionally. They kept acting, acting the same, needy, gullible. But in actuality, they were working a discreet plan to fuck somebody else over. Somebody was fucking somebody else over. The person that was getting fucked over is getting to fuck this other person back over royally. They allowed this person to think that they have the upper hand, but they don't. 
this person has some sort of um, trump card. What's this? Somebody was trying to make someone like hallucinate. You know, when you hallucinate, you see things, you hear things, and you could harm yourself. Somebody found somebody found out what was being done to them. What's this? Yep, what I told you. Bam! This person was healing very discreetly, though. The star card. This person right here, definitely, they, they were all over the place for a while. And their intention was to get away from someone or the person that constantly contradict themselves. Whatever they found, they could have addressed this person. Somebody here, they didn't want the person to know that they knew it, what they were doing. But they just started getting better. What I told you. This person right here knew they were getting poisoned. Or knew they had some sort of spell. It could have been some sort of sacrifice on here as well. It could have been love bomb here with this um, rose in their hand. I hear potion. Also, for somebody here, they could have been, you know, uh, they could have found out that, uh, what I was going to say it down. A pregnancy was intentional, like somebody's um, purposely sabotage a baby. For those of y'all that's into like the baby stage and that can make and have kids, somebody here purposely did something. This is also someone that could have been, that could have found out that a person was doing something to a child to control them. Now I'm telling you, this person right here, they were doing sacrifices. Some Your person was under a lot of psychic attack, um, a lot of heavy, heavy spells. They found th if this is somebody who didn't believe in like spells, witchcraft, voodoo, uh uh, baby, they do now. And they have proof. And this is someone here, they, they your, the person, whoever is being ghosted, they're being ghosted because they're coming up as a, as a demon, as a devil. I also heard as a warlock. This person right here has been under something heavy, honey. This person right here, they feel that they had to play their cards right. To play their cards right so they could get out safe. It could be to get themselves out, to get them and to get themselves and a child and or children out, to get themselves out and get their values, their belongings that have sentimental value to them. Mm -hmm. The person right here played their cards right. They, they, they could, this is somebody who could have left abruptly, but nah, they didn't. They, they allowed a situation to look a certain type of way. I hate to say it when they when somebody feel like, figure out what's been done because it's like a sorceress, a witch. He or she a, a dark witch at that because witch all witches are not negative. People don't understand that. But anyway, this person had the upper hand. The person that had the upper hand, they don't. The person is just making it look that way. This is someone that could also have picked up on, I hear, what's that, Hansel and Gretel? Like, they shitted that witch, and they got out of that cell. Somebody here is, somebody lives in a home that's a prison, or dealing with a person, they have, they have like an imprisonment mindset. They are free, but they're not going to let this person know that they're free until they're away from them, space, distance, um, time. And this is someone here, they know this person is picking up on them, so they're playing even dumber. This is somebody also who would not sleep with this person. They're being told, no, I don't want to have sex. But they're lying like, you know, I don't feel good. If it's a man, he's saying, you know, I can't get up. He can't get hard because he's no longer attracted to this person, male or female. If it's a woman, she's crying and saying, you know, my stomach is hurting my cyclism. I got cramps. I don't know what's going on. Somebody here is giving a lot of excuses why they cannot and will not have sex. It's because they don't want to but this person found something and kept it to themselves they found the proof that they needed that this person was doing something to them so this person right here sometimes you watch people so closely you don't know the same person you're watching is watching you so somebody here backtrack the person that was watching them they begin to watch that person somebody also may have like a secret secret camera in their home or like over their bed i'm seeing that movie um Cookie and Lucia's um, lying when she didn't know that camera was in the bedroom. There's a kid in camera that's catching somebody doing something. Uh, I don't know if it's putting something in somebody's pillow or somebody's getting caught. Somebody's being recorded. They don't know that. Their ass is done. Because they thought they had this person in the palm of their hand because of their spells and manipulation and witchcraft. But all this shit is not working. They're faking it. 
One card to close this out. Yep. Somebody knows that a person is actually a foe to them and not a, not a friend, not a true lover, not a true partner. This is someone here also that could have found out someone here was intentionally like stealing their money. What the fuck was that? They could have also found out that someone, um, oh, why is that even on down there? Y'all, hold on, because I can hear something. I couldn't figure out what it was. Okay. Um, and this is someone that they found out they, that was like taking something from them. Um, it could it could also be money, but it could also be this person right here. They're allowing this person to be comfortable. It's almost like they want someone to be comfortable and then all of a sudden, boom, out, gone. And somebody knows that somebody has been doing something to them when they were asleep. It could be chanting over them. Oh, yeah. This could have already happened and they found out. This is going on in a household. I knew that. This, this is a lot of psych attack. Somebody here is being poisoned, though. And, you know, it might not be like a heavy poison. It's something to alter somebody's way of thinking. Some, someone's, um, mob I heard, like, mobility. This person right here had a lot of shit going on with them, honey. To take their strength and make them very weak. And this is someone here who caught somebody doing, like, a um spiritual, um a, some sort of spiritual game. But something here is some sort of potion I keep seeing. And I keep hearing it's a potion to this. This could also be someone that views a parent that's, you know, unfit, male or female, like an unfit parent, a sick parent, like psychologically sick. Somebody just, because mm -mm. somebody is, somebody, oh shit, schizophrenia. This person spazzes out, half fits, somebody who could be off their meds. That, that somebody just had a deal with this. They're watching somebody do things to them, and they're allowing the person to think that they that they um that is still working, but it's not. And somebody here is almost like the person that was doing it. They know, they they know it, but they can't prove it. Yep. This is somebody here who's trying to find a way to. Mm. <laughs> They're trying to get this person to confess. Somebody could also be trying to get someone to record something. Um, this person right here, somebody did like, okay. So the person that that's doing this stuff, your person or the person that they're with that's doing something to them, they're trying to find a way to get this person to confess. Something is constantly being recorded. Somebody has like their whole home or their whole household bugged. It could be specifically in, in the bedrooms as well as the kitchen because this person knows that this person right here that was doing it, this person right here, they definitely have caught on, but it's almost like they're trying to backtrack their steps of what they have done or what they are doing. Yep, because this person right here was doing sacrifices. I hear it could be animal sacrifices. This person right here has a lot of a lot of strength because they a lot of courage to manipulate your person. That's what they've been doing. But the manipulation is coming in a way that the person used to be vulnerable. Somebody here showed that they're fighting back, but they didn't mean to because they wanted to, you know, still be perceived to be a weak person. Mm -hmm. a, a lot of theatrics have been going on here. Your person, somebody is, two people playing games with each other. Two people are trying to psych each other out. <clears throat> Whoever was making the first person sick or controlling them intentionally, they know that this person is not under that same trance, state, spell, um, uh, potion. They know it's not. 
But this person right here, they know that they've sabotaged themselves constantly. I heard constantly trying to sleep with them. I don't want to say this, but I have to. If this is a woman, did I see somebody like inserting something up themselves? If this person does something, <sighs> put something in her vagina, it's, it's nasty looking. This, this person right here has been or is being exposed. I'm going to close this out. It's about to get real nasty and graphic. This person is into like real heavy sacrifices. Also, um, energetic manipulation, shape shifting. They could also have thought that you were sleeping with this person and they're putting something up. This, this will be a woman out there I see doing this, putting something up her vagina. So when this person sleeps with her, that's why she's longing to sleep with this person. So it can go back to you. It's something to make the both of you all sick. Your person was real smart in this. Really, really smart than what you or this person right here gave them credit. Because this person right here, somebody is being told no to sex because sex is what's how sex is how this person is being manipulated. But somebody knows that something is not right. What's a diaphragm? Isn't that that um that that's the that's that little sperm thing that catches the sperm? Someone could have been caught taking that out. Someone here could have tried to like make a baby intentionally. Or take the condom and take the sperm out of the comma and condom and insert it. I keep seeing a woman putting something up her, or, or trying to put something up her. This this woman is longing. To sleep with someone and she's in regrets because something is not working it's on she's out at herself this person that she's dealing with male or female has outsmarted her this person and this other person is mad like they, they are pissed I use the Divine Masculine's pictures on um, dating week websites someone here uses your person I told you someone uses your person excuse me, your person's picture on websites to try to sabotage their character and their look as a person. This is an energetic shapeshifter that um, y'all person is dealing with and interacting with. And this is someone that wants you to help them sabotage this person. Someone here also did not want to have children with this um person. Yep, this is a major illusionist. That goes far above and beyond to destroy a person and situation. They are sabotaging um, a twin flame journey here for some of you all. Lastly, this is a naysayer. This is someone here that they don't have nothing good to say, but they always carry mess with them. Somebody here, that their sister is involved. They've slept with a person's sister. I'm going uh, to end this here. I got too many distractions. Keep popping in my ear. Your person was highly distracted. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Your person was highly distracted because of the witchcraft. This person had real, weird, real, I heard weird too, real and weird witchcraft um, placed on them. This is someone that caught this person doing something because your person started feeling something about his or herself that is not right, was not going right. There was a lot of abuse here psychic abuse this is someone here that was doing heavy dark spells and sacrifices when your person found out this is this is not a person that just snatches away this kind of person likes to investigate they investigated and they started playing mind games and they set something up to catch this person all these theatrics that was going on what the and this manipulation it's over. It's, it's over. The person that's being ghosted, they sabotage themselves. 
And that's exactly what your person was wanting them to do. I feel like something I heard sped up or speeding up. And this is someone that's strategically um, getting ready to go to this person. Because this is someone here, they're a woman, she's a harlot. If it's a man, he's a whoremonger. Somebody here has light hair. Someone here has been sleeping around in this person's family as well. Yep. The situation has come to an end. I heard head. It's come to a head. I see a pimple. You know, when a pimple has a head to it and it's white, I just saw the seed pop out. Somebody here has finally had enough of lies, manipulations, theatrics, uh, demonic things being done. This is a lot of sex spells as well. There could be a child that could have been conceived that was not supposed to be conceived. Like someone intentionally did something, manipulate the condom, poke holes in it, or took the condom out the trash can. Somebody here did something very vile. I just hear B-I-L-E, B-I-L-E. This is also someone who's been doing, I hear hair. Somebody here has like hair follicles or something like that Um, of your person. Somebody, this person, your person hair may be coming out. I don't know, man. Something's fucked. Something, something ain't right. This person got caught. Um, Taurus. Who is it? Taurus, Scorpio, Cancer, Virgo, and Leo. This person could. This person been doing a lot of a lot of picture magic also. Somebody's been doing this since the summer. I told you, your person has found out the truth. And this they could have found the truth out by watching tarot as well. Or your person could, you know, the other person could be a tarot reader. But somebody found the truth by watching tarot and awakening. This person, that whoever is leaving, they have gone through an awakening. And someone here was very dedicated and making sacrifices. Someone here also was conjuring up spirits and energies. It seems like your person has caught this person red-handed, not saying anything, but to get themselves out of a situation. That's why they're leaving. They don't give a damn. And this is someone who's very promiscuous. This is someone who's been doing a lot of sex spells. And they thought they were clever, but they're not. They shit themselves. Somebody use an old school game of reverse psychology, brainwashing. And they brainwashed the person that, that did have the upper hand on them. Yeah. Ooh. Yep. Vulnerability. See, your person was being made vulnerable by what was being placed in their food, their beverage, and these sacrifices. A lot of psychic attack. And this is somebody that's fighting over some kids here. The communication is horrible. Um, Yeah, I'm going to leave this there. Peace and blessings. Great day. Just a hot-ass mess. Namaste.